So, and particularly for their parents to read to the children, you can see a little boy and a little girl excited by the characters that they can see, which are from Australian children's literature. Um, this is a memorial to the people who started the Australian children's literature collection, which features original works by Australian illustrators. So this is Possum Magic, which is a very popular book. Possum Magic is coming alive to the children as their mother reads them the book. And here's a goanna, and the dragon is a Dromkeen dragon, which was a club at the um, original homestead. And there's an echidna here, Jackie the Kookaburra, which is the title of a book, and Wombat Divine, another popular book by um, lots of different authors, and you can see some of their names on the plaque here. So there's Hutu the Owl and um, Koala Lu, which is a story about a koala who wants to be in the Olympics but he doesn't succeed and so his mother's comforting him around here. And uh, the whole um, arrangement was um, commissioned by the Board of Governors of Dromkeen and Scholastic Australia. So I was very fortunate to um, win the commission and I'm thrilled that its new location is at the State Library of Victoria. So is it permanent now? Yes. Yes. Just, well, um, it's a big process making bronze. It's used to produce different results. And um, all in all, it took me about six months to make that. The Man from Iron Bark is after a poem by Banjo Patterson who was one of the early Australian writers of great fame. He also wrote Waltzing Matilda, as well as this wonderful poem about a shearer who went to town after he'd finished his job. He was looking for a woman. And he looked around and he realised that he was scruffy looking and really um, needed a good shave and a good clean up. So he went off to the barber and the barber thought he would play a trick on the man from Iron Bark. So he heated up his razor, a cutthroat razor, and he drew it quickly over his neck and it was very hot. So the man from Iron Bark thought that his throat had been cut and he leaped up and he swore bloody murder at the barber and um, he, he ran out of the barber shop swearing to wear a beard all the rage up there in Iron Bark. Can you remember the poem? Of course you can. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, this is another bronze, um, which was the first life-size bronze that I made. And um, it has an armature and um, made this one out of clay. So um, that was quite challenging because it takes a while. And um, then the foundry uh, coats and wood uh, made a lovely job of the bronze casting and um, it was um, a great thing to be linked with um, good old Banjo Patterson.